Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to be creating a to-do list app with a Realm database as our backend. Now let's get started with a single view application and you can name this project whatever you like. For this project, I'm going to create a Git repository because I plan to upload this project to GitHub. Usually, when developers are adding Realm to their project, they use CocoaPods. You are free to use Cocoa Pods, but it's so much easier if you download the framework and simply drag the binaries into your project. It's a lot easier to do and it takes less time. You will also need to create a new run script phase and add this following snippet which I have provided in the description. It's a required workaround for an app store submission bug when archiving universal binaries. You can run the app at this point to see if you have added the frameworks correctly and it's going to be blank and once there are no errors you can move on to the next stage. Let's add a table view controller and set it as the initial view controller by dragging the arrow from the view controller to the table view controller and delete the view controller that was there before. Let's embed it inside a navigation view controller and head over to our viewcontroller.swift file and subclass UI table view controller. Rename the class to main view controller and rename the file to main view controller.swift. Let's select our table view controller and in the identity inspector change the class to main view controller. In the document outline, select the table view cell and go to Attributes Inspector. Here we will name the identifier cell. Set the title of our navigation item to Things to Do. Go to the object library and search for a bar button item and drag it to the right of our navigation item. In the section that says System Item, we are going to choose Add. We are going to use this button to add items to our list. Let's add some custom styling by giving the title a purple background and let's set the font color to white and the tint of the button to white as well. It's good practice to refactor the app to follow the MVC pattern. So this means there will be folders for the model, the views and the controller. The plist file and the assets can be placed in a folder called supporting files. The storyboard files can be placed in a folder called view. The app delegate and main view controller can be placed inside a folder called controller. Let's create a new Swift file and name it to-do list item and place it in a folder called model. Import the Realm Swift framework. The name of the class is going to be to-do list item and it's going to subclass object. Object is a class used to define realm model objects. It's going to have properties name and done and we are going to initialize these values with an empty string and a value of false respectively. These two properties are going to need the at objective C and dynamic modifiers. This allows realm to monitor for changes in the values of our properties. Let's return to our storyboard file and select the assistant editor. Control and drag from the add button to the bottom of our class and create an IB action. If you run the app at this point, you're going to get an error because Xcode is kinda silly. It's going to complain and say that it can't find the plist file. So you need to locate it in your target and try again. Go to the main view controller and import Realm Swift. Let's declare some properties. One for our Realm and the next one for our to-do list items. The first variable is going to be of type Realm and the next one is going to be of type Results. Results is a storage container similar to an array in Swift. But this one has the ability to auto-update. So this means that when we are adding items, we don't have to use the append function. In the viewDidLoad method, we're going to initialize realm. 
we have to use the try keyword because the initialization of a realm can throw an error. Let's start with number of rows in section and this returns an integer. We're going to set it to return the number of items in our to-do list by using the dot count method. The next method is going to be cell for row at index path. This returns a cell. So we must create a cell. We're going to say let cell equal to table dot dq reusable cell with identifier and pass in the name of our cell. For index path, we are just going to type index path. This is done because in a table view, the cells are recycled. We must create the item that is going to populate our cell. This item is this item is going to be one of the members from our to-do list container. The text label of this cell is going to be set to the name of the item and we're going to use the ternary operator which is an easier way of writing an if statement. If the item is completed, we will add a check mark. And if it's not completed, there will be no check mark. And finally, we return the cell. We are now going to focus on the delegate methods. These methods are responsible for what happens when a user clicks on a cell. The first method is going to be did select row at index path. If we click on a cell, we are going to store this information in the realm as done. And if we click the cell again, we are going to store this information in the realm about the cell as not done. We are going to call reload rows on the table view because we want to update it with data from our realm. The next method, can edit row at index path, is pretty simple to implement. It returns a boolean and this allows us to edit rows in our table views. All we have to do is set it to return true. The next method that we are going to call is commit editing style. If the editing style is set to delete, we are going to create an item that represents the cell that we want to delete. We delete the item by going into the realm and calling the delete function. Then we are going to call delete rows on the table view. We can build and run to ensure that the app doesn't crash. We're going to use an alert view controller to collect input from the user, which will be added to the realm. So let's start by creating a UI alert controller with a title of new to do, a message of what do you want to do, and for the preferred style, let's set it to alert. We need a text field for our alert view controller. You will notice that I left this area blank because I didn't want to use any placeholder text. But if you want to, you could simply type UI text fuel dot placeholder and you could set it to something like create new item. Let's create a cancel action. This is going to have a title of cancel, a style of destructive and a handler of nil. And then we add it to the alert view controller. Let's create an add action with a title of add and a style of default. Let's go into the closure of this UI alert action and create a to-do list item object. We're going to set the name of this object to the text that the user enters in the text field. You are using the alert controller's text field property and the dot first notation to obtain the first text field and you're going to convert it to a UI text field. We're going to set the done property of the new to-do list item to false, and then we're going to add this data to our realm. We must insert the row that we just created into our table view. We're then going to add the action that we just created to our alert view controller, and finally, we are going to present it. So the first item on my to-do list is to take a break, update my iPad, and I have to upload this video to YouTube. So I'm just going to run it again so that you can see that the data is there. So I already added a picture of two kittens to my assets 
and you can use app icon generator to create assets now I'm going to um, provide a link in the description of this video and we're going to add view will appear and inside of that method you will create a background image and set it to the UI image we're going to create a UI image view and we're going to pass in the UI image that we created earlier we want it to be transparent so we are going to set the alpha to 0 0.3 and then we're going to set the background view of the table view to the image view then we can build and run but you can see that the cells are not transparent so what we can do is go to our cell for row at index path method and we can set the um, the cells to clear and run the app again during the filming of this video I reached a thousand subscribers and I would like to thank each and every one of you a thousand times I couldn't have done it without your support I encourage you to like this video and subscribe to see more videos and as always thanks for watching